Beside me, broken arm and all. Jared, what do you think of the race so far? Well, Dusty Stokes is eating up the track pretty good down there, Jimmy, but it's his lucky day because I ain't driving. Jared, it may be hard to imagine, but what would it mean to Stokes if he was actually to win the race here today? Well, if he took this race here today, Jimmy, it'd probably mean he'd get a sponsor. I mean, it takes a lot of skill and luck to win a race, but it also takes a lot of money, and I think old Dusty's pumping just about all the cash he's got into that beat-up car of his. Well, he's in a rebuilt junker that he picked up cheap from Ron Hornaday. But how can that happen? How can he be leading this race? Well, the car takes you part of the way. The question always is, who wants it more? It's coming around here. It feels good. Hand up. What's Winslow doing? He passed Rodney Berry about two laps ago. He's sitting in three. No sweat yet. What happened to that ulcer? Which one? The one that retired me from the pits? I can't find a pit. There's another in the garage. Get it on the double. Yeah, that peptic beauty. Don't worry. I'll pay for this. I couldn't help it. The kid's down on his luck. Got on his knees and practically begged us. And he's not paying you. It's like old times on the Becker team, eh, Harry? Yeah. Except this kid can really drive. Insults will get you nowhere. Good luck. Stay out of my shop. Can I get a Coke? Later, honey, we are way late. Let's go watch that place. Hey, what kept you guys? The traffic it is jammed for miles. If we pulled over and walked with everyone else from all of us crossing. Dusty's doing just right here. Oh, good. Makes up for the times I was early and he crashed out on lap 30. <laughs> Is Daddy going to win? He promised it was going to be a good day. A little less than an hour, we'll know what kind of a day it's going to be. Come back when he pits. You can help me hold out the pit bull. That's great. <laughs> I'm going to take him. Looks like Winslow's making his move on CD. Right behind you. Kennedy Winslow has taken over second place. He's right on Stokes by a bumper. Winslow moves left, but Stokes isn't letting him by. Oh, Winslow has lost control as he spins the car, and he is out. Winslow in the number 81 car has overwrapped it, and it looks like he's blown the engine. Winslow's out. He'll be looking for you next week. I'll be there. Send an ambulance immediately. What happened? So, 
Bottom. Come on, Bottom. I'll get the tow truck. And you know, it's hard to imagine the kind of sustained concentration it takes to drive one of these race cars at speed. Oh yeah, Jimmy, if you're going to win out there, that oval has to become your entire universe. If you can't focus 100%, you're not going to win that race. Hey, Harry. Where the hell are you, Harry? Okay, hit it, Winslow. Don't move it. Pulse is regular. Yeah, that's good. Airway unobstructed. Breath is normal, strong. Contusions on forehead. No dilation. Good. <laughs> Stephanie, it's Richard Beckett. Tell me where it hurts. I don't wear the legs. Right here next to me. She's been knocked unconscious, but I think she's fine. Let's get her out of there. Hang in there, Steph. We're going to get you out of there. She's fine. Can you tell me where it hurts? My arm hurts. I just, it hurts to breathe. Is she going to be okay? Yes, I think so. Are you allergic to any medicine? No. Alexa, talk to me, honey. Talk to mommy. We're going to give you some pain medication. It won't make you sleep, but it'll help with the pain. And we're going to get you to the hospital. We got medevac ready? Already, Doc. Little girl's coming around. Alexa! Don't try to move. Your mommy's right here. I'm Dr. Beckett. You've been in an accident. You understand? Yes. Good. Now, I'm not sure how badly you're hurt, so you're going to have to help me, okay? Okay. Good. Now, don't try to move at all. You put a collar around your neck so you won't get hurt anymore. Okay. Tommy, I love you, honey. My head hurts. My head would hurt, too, if I had all that stuff fall on it. Can you see me okay? Uh-huh. What about your fingers? Can you wiggle them? That's good. What about your toes? Can you wiggle them? That's real good. Good wiggling. Bring a board in here. We're going to log roll her. Flying in. Fine, this is just a precaution, okay? Oh, oh. You're doing great. We're going to get your mommy in a helicopter and take her to the hospital, and I'm going to stay with you until we can get your daddy out of his race car. Don't you dare! He ought to be here, Stephanie, with you. Richard, I put the house up so he could race today. This is his last shot. You still want to be here. This is our last shot, don't you understand? You can't let him take it. Try not to talk. Save your energy. <laughs> promise me you won't tell him. Promise me, Richard. All right, I promise. You gotta get out of here. Can't you come with me? The helicopter can only take one gurney and an attendant. Now go. I won't let her out of my sight. I love you, sweetheart. <sighs> okay. Up there. What's the deal? Stephanie's got a broken arm, maybe a punctured lung. The girl was knocked out, but she's conscious now. We'll keep an eye on her. Stephanie made me promise not to tell Dusty until after the race. I heard. They're strapped. I wouldn't tell him if Godzilla was eating Eagle Ridge. You know what's going on out there. Dusty's having a day that most drivers only dream about. He's in a groove. And in 40 minutes, God willing, he'll look back on this day and remember when he broke out.